Hello and welcome to another short session out on the rocks today. We're chasing mackerel for the bait freezer today. Uh, I bought a big rod with me just in case I fancy chuck in uh, a bait out for a hus or something. But uh, I've just got down onto the mark. It's low tide now. So uh, fingers crossed we can get a few mackerel. Um, I won't show you too much of me actually spinning from. So I know that can be pretty boring and especially if they're not showing as much as I want them to but I'll uh, I'll see if I can get a couple of shots in of me hopefully catching some and uh, later on then I'll show you what I do when I put them in the freezer ready to uh, stock up for winter but beautiful uh, beautiful afternoon Plenty of pots about, which is not good. And plenty of grey gray skies, especially over there. It's very grey. But uh, let's get set up and catch some mackerel. Nothing special for my mackerel bashing rod. This is a, a heavy duty continental style rod. It's a Vicelli Enigma Sentinel T. Cast up 300 grams, it's a powerhouse of a rod. Uh, pen spin fisher, five and a half thousand, twenty pound mono. My favourite feathers are these tinsy looking things. The last time I was here, my mate was cleaning up on literally they were black feathers, but there was about six six on the uh, six on the trace. He's only got four. But uh, we'll have a couple of casts and hopefully have some mackerel early on. Here we are. We do love a bit of face cast magic. And it's a massive mackerel. Only one though. This happened to me last time. I only pick up the odd ones and twos. But that's a great start. Uh, great sign and a great start. We'll uh, get them unhooked. Let's get back out there. Right. Right, there's one mackerel in the bag. I'll uh, see if I can get this one on film. Hopefully get some more. that cast either. This is not what I wanted to happen. Cast out and it's a beard. Hopefully you'll fly off alright. Right, I'm calling it a day. I've been here an hour. It started off lovely down here. Mackerel face chuck. Quite calm. And now the wind's tint and it's very horrible down here. Uh, rain's forecast to come in within the next I don't know, hour or two as well. So I'm gonna get home and I'll show you what I would have done with a load of mackerel. Uh, I got myself a little nice uh, vacuum packer. I'll uh, give you a little demo. I got a couple of packs in the freezer from last time. So, uh, yeah. 
shame really because it's quite, it is nice being out here. But uh, that wind's just getting horrible now. But uh, yeah, I'll see you back at the man cave. Right, welcome back to the man cave. I've got the uh, the uh, vac sealer all set up. I'll show you what I've done quickly. All I've done is roll's a bit overkill for one mackerel, but it doesn't matter. Big roll, cut it to length, sealed it one side down here. Put the mackerel in, and hopefully this will work. Finito. There you have a large vac sealed mackerel. And then over to the freezer. And pop it in. Do some I've done before. Lovely. You will freeze up nicely now. It's a large mackerel that. Done. That's it. Little short video. That's the process. Obviously, I'd like to have like 30 or 40 mackerel or something like that to put away. 30 would have been ideal, but I only had one. And a seagull. So, uh, yeah. Nice little short video, see you guys on the next one.